Leo, you are up for the January Love Energy Reading. Before we go any further, KIRWKC.com, main podcasting platform. This podcast is carried on Apple, Spotify, Google, iHeartRadio, Pandora, Overcast, Bullhorn, Amazon Music, Audible, and several other podcasting platforms. Please feel free to listen to this podcast on whatever platform is most convenient for you. KIRWKC on all the social media platforms. All right, Leo, so you're up now. The general readings for... January are already up for all of the signs. Obviously, this is the love reading. Once I finish with the love readings for all the signs, I will start on the money readings. Also, I'm doing more collective readings as well now. So, you have more stuff to listen to. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. If it's not your story, don't try to make it fit. I'm just a person sitting here reading the energy and tarot cards. You know your story better than I ever could. Now that I said all that, let's get into the reading. Hmm. May I have the energy... For Leo, for January, may I have the energy for Leo, for January, may I have the energy for Leo, for January, what is it that Leo needs to hear? What is it that Leo needs to hear? What is it that Leo needs to hear? Okay, that's too many. May I have a card, please? Thank you. Two cards. See what we have here. Wow, that's interesting. Okay. First card that came out is keep an open mind. Keep an open mind. And it says, your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectation. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Keep an open mind. And then the second card says, love yourself first. Love yourself first. And it says, your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. So... What this is talking about is that if you don't love yourself, how can you expect somebody else to love you? Because in order to know how to teach people how to treat you, you have to start from how you treat yourself. So if you're starting from a place of where you don't value yourself, you don't appreciate yourself, you don't love yourself, then when you deal with somebody else, whatever energy you're already in, that baseline for the start of the relationship, it's based off of that energy. So if you're in that energy, that's what they're going to take on too, where it's like, okay, well, they don't seem to care about themselves, so I won't invest as much either, or I don't have to invest as much either. There's um, something where, and now I just heard raise your standards too. And I know for some of you, you're like, okay, you have to keep the open mind, but also raise your standards. You can still have this keep an open mind, but also raise your standards. The thing that you're raising your standards for, whatever it's attached to, it just may not be the type that you usually go for. For example, you may want somebody who has a job, not anything against those who don't, but quiet as is kept, if somebody doesn't have a job, the last thing they need to be doing is focusing on a relationship. Just saying, but who am I to judge? But that's just an example. So if you raise your standards by saying, okay, they have to have a job, that person who has a job, they may fall a little bit outside of what you regularly expect or what you regularly go for. But this is saying keep an open mind. So that's what I'm talking about. But also at the same time, raise your standards. Okay, something has been telling me to take from this deck too. So let me do that right quick. May I have the energy for Leo for January? Energy for Leo for January. 
Energy for Leo for January. Can we clarify the cards on the table? Can we clarify the cards on the table? Can we clarify the cards on the table? Some of you may be coming into some money because the money card, it caught my attention as I was going through the thing. Thank you. Some of you may be dealing with family. Family may play a role for some of you with your relationship. Um, some of your family might be a little bit nosy of when it comes to who you date. Thank you. Okay. So for some of you, what's at the bottom of the deck? Travel is at the bottom of the deck. So some of you might be taking a vacation. It says vacation, honeymoon, enjoyment. So some of you might finally be taking some rest and relaxation, some R&R. &R. Now, as I mentioned before, the family card came out, but also the fair male came out lighter than darker. So some of you may be dealing with a fair male. So somebody light skinned. And then the mature male came out as well. And this one is saying older male mature in age. Now, something just said to me that for some of you, there may be something involving your father that's affecting your dating life. I don't know the details of that. You would know better than me. Again, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. But something is saying to me for some of you, a father or a father figure is affecting your dating life. Is what's happening. Now for others of you. You just may be dating someone who's more mature. Or you may be the more mature one. You may be the older one. That someone is dating. Again take what resonates leave what doesn't. Now for some of you. There may be a situation where this older man. Already has a family. But he's like divorced or widowed or something like that. Again take what resonates leave what doesn't. Alright let's add some color to this with the tarot now. And you know what? Now that I think about it, because I just, I just looked at this keep an open mind, that might be the thing, that someone has a family. And you would prefer, usually you date someone who's single, who doesn't have kids, and hasn't been married before. But you may end up dating someone who has been married before and has kids. Just saying. But this is saying keep an open mind. May I have the love energy for Leo for January? May I have the love energy for Leo for January? May I have the love energy for Leo for January? Mm. Can we clarify the cards on the table? Can we clarify the cards on the table? Can we clarify the cards on the table? Now, also something that's coming to me is that someone might be asking you to sacrifice because of their responsibilities. I'm going back to this love yourself first card. So keep that in mind. I'm not saying don't sacrifice or don't compromise because in certain situations, thank you. It requires compromise when dealing with a relationship. Some of you could be dealing with a Virgo or a Gemini. Or you could just have it in your chart. Also, for some of you, you don't have to... I'm sure you've heard the term fake it till you make it. You don't have to do that with this person. For some, and again, this isn't going to resonate with everybody. For some of you, there is a situation where you feel like if they're established, you may feel like you're not as established yet, but you're trying to put on the front that, hey, I have my stuff together. I'm established. I can pay my rent. I can buy nice clothes. I can do this. I can do that. But I, I feel like, and not saying that you don't have the ability to tap into this energy 
and upgrade yourself as time goes on because obviously you do. Leo is a very go-getter sign. I'm saying that don't feel like you have to show a certain appearance or a certain image of yourself to this person just to impress them or just so you think they will feel like, okay, we're on the same footing here. We're on the same ground here. All right, just throwing that out there. May I have some more cards, please? Thank you. Definitely there is a family element involved. Because now I have a double confirmation. So there's something, thank you, involving family. I feel like for those of you who are dealing with someone... Either your family will not like them or either you're already in this energy that's going on or their family does not like you. So going, let me, let's recap right quick. The reason I was talking about putting up appearances is the magician card. And the energy I was picking up from that is that somebody might be giving the impression that they have more than they do are giving the impression that they're more together than they really are. With the magician, that's the energy I picked up. Which, this is Mercury energy. I can tell you right now, one other thing to keep in mind is that Mercury is going retrograde in January, for most of January, up until like the 18th. Um, Post-retrograde, 7 to 10 days, so you can say the 28th or whatever if you want to take it that far. But whatever is going on with this... Be careful if you are doing what I'm talking about because it'll come out. All right. Now, the other card that came out is the Ten of Cups. This is a family card. This is emotional fulfillment on steroids. But again, this is a family card. And for some of you, I feel there is a strong family element in this reading. Whether it's with your family or their family. The Seven of Wands came out. It also cups as water energy. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Wands is fire energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I feel like, because this is the I said what I said card for me. That's what I call it. Where somebody is standing by their convictions. Now, there may be a situation where you're starting off saying, no, I'm not dating someone with a family. Or your family is starting off saying, no, I don't like this person that you're dating. Or vice versa. They're saying they don't like you. The, the family saying they don't like you for who you're dating. I feel like that will change over time. Is what I um, do feel like. But I honestly feel it's going to be bumpy at the beginning. For whatever reason. Whether it's because of your beliefs, your family's beliefs, their beliefs, or their family's beliefs. I feel that it will be rocky at the beginning. Let me see. I want to... Okay, what is this? Queen of Pentacles, Virgo energy, more Virgo. Some of y'all might be dealing with the Virgo. Because that's the second Virgo card, Magician and Queen of Pentacles. So, um, which is a very nurturing sign. But also very good with money. And very stable, very grounded. Hmm. Thank you. And then you have the emperor. I feel like this could be the older person. Is who this could be. This is Aries energy and Capricorn energy. Is what the emperor is. So. With that. I honestly feel. Eventually it will. Balance out. But I also feel there will be some speed bumps. I think I'm going to call this family speed bumps. <laughs> is what I'm going to call this. Bottom of the deck, the moon. The unknown. Also illusions, too. Don't forget, if what I said earlier about putting up appearances resonated with you, be mindful because when Mercury retrograde gets here, it might come out. Just saying. But yeah, I'm going to call this family speed bumps. There's something with this relationship related to a family. That is your message. 
KIRWKC.com, main podcasting platform. This podcast is carried on Apple, Spotify, Google, iHeartRadio, Pandora, Overcast, Bullhorn, Amazon Music, Audible, and several other podcasting platforms. Please feel free to listen to this podcast on whatever platform is most convenient for you. KIRWKC on all the social media platforms. Till next time, be blessed.